In this video, I am breaking down the one-time notification details so that you are sure to stay compliant with Facebook's platform rules. Hey there, bot builders, Kelly Noble Mirabella here, and on behalf of ManyChat, I'm excited to break down everything that you need to know about the one-time notifications, aka OTN. If you missed it, be sure to check out the last video I did where I showed you how to set up the OTN on your Facebook page as well as how to utilize it inside of ManyChat. I have linked to it in the cards above as well as in the description below for your convenience. With the changes to the platform policy, many are concerned to hear that the plus one message tag is going to be going away. But Facebook acknowledges that messaging tags we now have to work with don't necessarily all apply to every situation where messenger communications are beneficial and useful for your subscribers. To cover this gap, they introduced the one-time notification, the OTN, which will allow you to send messages to subscribers beyond 24 hours, as long as they give you explicit permission. Like the other message tags, one-time notifications do have some specific rules. For instance, no deception. The message that you send using an OTN must match what a user agreed to receive. Also, no incentivizing. You can't give subscribers something of monetary value or equivalent in return for signing up to receive an additional message. However, the message that they sign up to receive can be valuable. For instance, a notification when a specific item goes on sale. Each OTN tag can only be used once. It is important to understand that the follow-up message must be exclusive to the item or topic in which the user has opted in. For example, if the subscriber asks to be notified when a specific shirt comes back into stock, you cannot use the one-time tag to send them promotions for other shirts or products. It can only be used to send a notification when that specific shirt goes back into stock. Also, the content of the one-time notification request and the message that you send must comply with all of Facebook's community standards. Once applied, the OTN works like any other messaging tag. It allows you to send the message outside of the 24-hour window to subscribers who have opted in. Consider one important caveat though. You may only send a single message block when using an OTN. To send any additional messages, the user must interact with your first message block. In other words, your flows will be very short, one message block. So make sure that your OTN messages delivers the content that the subscriber requested in that message and offers a compelling reason to interact with your brand and open up that 24-hour window so that you can continue messaging and engaging with that user. Some scenarios in which the one-time notification can be useful include the following. First, when a subscriber requests an item that is out of stock, you can set up the OTN and send them a notification when it comes back. When a subscriber indicates that they're interested in a future sale, promotion, or even a sweepstakes. When a subscriber wants to receive a very specific piece of content that isn't ready for distribution yet. To extend drip sequences that have longer than a 24 hour delay between each message. If subscribers keep agreeing to the next message with an OTN, then you can keep sending. But remember, each new sequence would need its own OTN tag that users must then opt into individually. Now that the technicalities are out of the way, let's cover some of those commonly asked questions about this new feature. Can each subscriber have more than one OTN at the same time? While one-time notifications can only be used once, as the name might imply, you can actually accumulate multiple OTNs for a single subscriber. The catch is that each one must be requested separately. So if you have five different things that you want to send a subscriber, you'll need to have them agree to each one of those individually. The same is true if you want to remind a subscriber about the same topic 
on multiple occasions. For instance, if a subscriber wants to receive a reminder about an upcoming one day sale and they want to get it the day before and then maybe an hour before, each one of those notifications would be their own OTN and must be agreed to separately. But both could use the same OTN topic inside of ManyChat. An important note here, be careful with sending too many OTN requests in a row for a single subscriber within a short period of time. Such bot behavior is monitored by Facebook and considered to be an abuse of the OTN feature. If the Facebook algorithms detect abnormal amounts of one-time notification requests sent within a short period of time, you will be at risk of losing access to the OTN feature. What kind of content block can you send with the OTN? The messages that you send using an OTN is limited to a single block but the type of content that you send is not limited. That means that you can send over text, an image, a card, a gallery, a video, an audio, and a file. Now that you have all the information that you need to begin using the one-time notification feature, there's plenty of other steps to take to get your chat marketing strategy up to date with all the new platform policy changes that we're seeing. Learn more about messenger tags, sponsored messages, and SMS plus email here on the ManyChat channel. So don't forget to subscribe as well as over on the ManyChat blog in our guide to Facebook Messenger's 2020 changes, which I've linked down in the description below. Now, if you have questions about the OTN, be sure to comment down below or head on over to Facebook and join our ManyChat community where we can answer those questions and the community can help you out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time.